Hey guys, um, I thought I'd do a video on how to install a M2 SSD in the Alienware 15. So firstly, um, I'll be holding the camera because I had bloody kids over and they broke my tripod, which really sucks. So firstly, you want to take out these two screws and when I've taken them out, then I'll get back to you. So when you're taking out these screws, you'll notice that um, the tab won't pull f um, firmly off just like this. So you might need to use some force along the edges when you're unscrewing it. So it's kind of annoying. So firstly, we'll take the tab off. Um, you would want to take off the battery first. So this is the battery here and this is the little tab. I won't borrow it. Um, worry for now because it's just uh, a hard drive thing and everything's off, I'm pretty sure everything's all good. Um, so there won't be any problems. You would want to take out the battery if you're dealing with the primary hard drive, maybe the RAM as well. Um, so let me just get the hard drive, I'll just be with you in a second. Okay, so this is the little small screen you need. A little tiny M2 uh, 3mm screw. If you've seen my last video, then you'll know it's a Phillips head one. There you go. And the screwdriver you need is this one here. Pretty much the exact same you use to unscrew the actual um, one itself. So we got the little bugger here. Very small. This is a uh, 500 um, gigabyte SSD. Uh, let me see if I can remember how to put this in. Okay, so this, this is the way. Um, I don't know why I put it the other way around, but you want this side on the top. So all the M2 SSDs are the same. Plug it in, it'll pop out. So the little tab will pop out. You definitely need the screw, don't stick it down with sticky tape like I did the first time because that's a big no-no. Put the screw in. I can't do it with one hand. But you put the screw in, screw it up. Okay, I got it in place. Oh, we're screwing the screw down until it is nice and tight. You want it quite tight because and this is one of the things you don't want coming loose in the middle of your gaming and stuff. But not overly tight that you can't get it back out, of course. So there you go, that's how you install the hard drive. And let's just put it in. So the problem that I had was um, reinstalling the operating system onto the SSD hard drive, that is quite annoying to do. Um, because there was an error in my system and it, it's a lot easier with a um, recovery key, that's for sure, if you have one. And I would just reinstall Windows straight from the start because you don't want any errors and stuff going on just because you switched. SSDs, and it does happen, it really does happen. Oh, let me just get this all firmly on. It's not really on. These are the type of problems you'll have when you're putting it in. Um, so that looks firmly on to me. And you just want to screw up the screws. And I'll get back to you and boot it up and see if it all works. Alright, all done. So you may need to push these bits down, kind of like how you have to pull them up. Be very careful when you're pulling it up. You need to use some considerable amount of force. Okay, so let's boot it up. I'm using the 120 SSD I mentioned before to boot it up. So should be reasonably fast. So that's our unlocated SSD. You won't be able to see it in um, my computer straight away, 
So firstly, you just want to go right click and new simple volume. Yep, use up all the space, assign the drive letter, or you can mount it. I wonder if you can mount it. Let me just see. I want to mount it into the C drive. No, it doesn't look like it'll let me. I thought it would be interesting, eh? Yeah. I'll just make a new drive for now. And then, uh, might as well just format it for the hell of it. Unit size, default, new volume, um, I guess we can create that later. What's the other one it's called? Local disk. Might as well keep the same name. Um, yep, let's just do it. Formatting, formatting, and it's a healthy drive. And there it is right there. So hopefully this video helps you. Um, I might do a video on how to install the operating system on your hard drive. Um, just keep in mind the things you'll need, you might need is the recovery key. So I had to email Dell for that or any Windows um, reinstallation type disk. It's really hard to transfer over because um, there will be a lot of problems, trust me. Um, I've tried to use very, very, oh, a lot of programs. And they say it's guaranteed 100% to work, but it didn't work. So that so hopefully that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.